Welcome to Off Grid Contracting, and in this install today, um, we're going to be doing a very simplistic um, uh, 585 watt panel install. But the great thing about that is, is we're going to be able to show, demonstrate how that on a small budget, uh, on a small solar system, you can get a lot of output such as uh, lighting, freezer, and uh, you know, back up to refrigeration and things like that uh, using the components that the customer uh, has purchased. And uh, once again, we appreciate our customers always for letting us film this. And so with that said, um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the panels and show you the panels on the roof and how we mounted that. And then we'll move down the structure on securing the wires and everything. And then we'll do the final finish on the wiring board and I hope you enjoy. So here is the customer solar uh, on the roof line. Um, you know, this is, a, like I said, this is a very simple install, you know, nothing, uh, nothing way over the top um, because this literally just one drop going down. Um, customer decided they didn't want that in conduit and we don't have to put in conduit. So, um, you know, as long as that that's not a code issue, hey, uh, you know, whatever the customer wants, we'll do it. Um, so anyway, um, this particular area that we're working today, um, that the electrical code, um, just trying to stay within the realm of that. Um, this is a completely off-grid generation system, so we're not gonna have to get into um, getting an electrician out today um, over this because it's going into a generator unit that is completely independent, but it can be hardwired later should the customer want to, but uh, these are five 85 watt panels. These are synthesis solar panels. Um, you can get these at hurricanewindpower.com. Um, they're pretty nice little panels. Um, this is also the particular panel that we use on the small portable atmospheric water generator systems. Um, output's phenomenal. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to, and, um, and that's that. So anyways, guys, we um, tied all this together in series. So um, the particular charge controller I'm going to show you here in a minute, the open voltage on that can handle up to 100 volts. These are 21.33 volts. Um, and if you add that up, you know, you're going to be over, but, uh, based on the drop and, uh, how far we've got to go to the finish line, we should end up, uh, getting to the charge controller, um, and giving them the absolute best, uh, amperage output, um, without line loss. So, uh, I'll move down the wire drop and then we'll move inside. All right. Now at this portion in the build, we've got the wire dropped, uh, around and down the side of the structure. And that's double insulated MC4. Um, I'm sorry, it's double insulated wire. There's our MC4 connections. And um, then going in the structure, which will silicone. And so that's just a very neat run right there, directly down. And we over voltage, uh, we had over voltage with the panel. So I figured by the time we made the drop in the structure, we'd be right at the voltage um, safety to put into that. So we're going to be under the uh, 100 volts range by about three or four volts. So that's gonna work out perfect for the customer. Okay, now at this portion of the build, we've brought our PV in, which will be siliconed right there. We've got it notched in the wall, comes around, hooks to the already made um, OTG board. Um, and this is the 40 amp board. I'll be demonstrating here in just a second. I'm gonna turn it on. But first off, we've got a Xantrex. This is the power hub, the 1800. Um, you see a lot of these sold at like Northern Tool, um, a lot of the online box stores and uh, what we've done is we brought our wire in the side there um, and then we've dropped that into the battery bank in this enclosure now the customer we can actually slide this over now should he add an additional closure later and more batteries that that frees that up as well so there's expandability still available on this system which is always a positive and um, now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our 40 amp breaker and that's going to fire up the charge controller. Now you can see right now, um, if you've seen the uh, video review of this in depth, um, how this is EMP ready also, so you can get the additional controller changeover and stuff. At this point, what we're going to do right now is we're going to turn on our solar feed. We can see our battery bank level is 12.4. And we can see now that the solar is feeding in. He's getting um, right there. It, sorry, it's cut off that it's the only thing that i'm a little sketchy about this controller is it changes uh real quickly let you see the functions and stuff um that's showing a load uh if if you're wanting to dump to a load but right here in just a moment it's going to swap back and you'll see here in just a second right there the amperage 
So it actually will feed through a lot of the functions and let you show and show to you um, a lot of what's going on. So anyway, it's a pretty neat controller. I'm really impressed with um, with, with the the output on that. Just really impressed. And um, and for small systems too, you know, I mean, you're just, you're just not got to dump a fortune in to a board for uh, small applications. So anyway, with that now, um, what we can do is we can shut the lid on this and secure that in place. So we've got our PV in, our battery drops, everything's good to go. Um, now the matter is just to hook this up to the power hub, power that on. This freezer unit will be powered um, for the customer um, off grid. And then also this power hub can actually go into a sub panel hardwired. So um, should that need to be done, um, the electrical uh, can be put into the sub panel and the other loads can be put in that for lights and so many other things. So anyway, guys, we're gonna finish buttoning all this up and I'll show you the final finish here in a minute. Okay, now we are finished with the install and there's a couple things that I'd like to show you as far as the capabilities of this particular inverter. This right here, like I said, this is um, something that you will see at a lot of the Northern tools and so on. Um, it is a very, very nice piece of equipment. Just keep in mind, this is a modified sine wave inverter. It does have inputs for wind. It does have inputs for solar. Um, there's, there's just a lot of info on it. And I'll get you a link to Xantrex where you can check this particular inverter out. Um, a couple of our vendors can also get a hold of this. Um, so just let me know if it's something that interests you. But right now you can see that it is on bypass. Okay. Well, if you look right up here, you can see that this thing is plugged in. Now you can use this as a normal power generation station for say like this freezer, right? And then the power goes out, boom, it swaps over automated. Just like a Magnum does, but this is only only a 120 uh, volt, you know, small scale piece of equipment. All right now, right now, right here, take a look at the battery. All right, give me just a second and let me, let me speed this process up and all right, we can see our battery voltage. It's pretty high, right? All right, well, when I pull this out, you can see it drop down for a second momentarily, and now the PV's picking up the slack. Well, if you look down here, also, you can see that there's no more bypass. It's actually on the inverter. Now, the freezer is not cycling at the moment, or, you know, obviously there'd be a load on it, and that'd be running. But now, in the future, um, the customer can add another compartment here onto the side, two more batteries, so that they can have plenty of run time should the power go out um, or should they get in a situation where the, the grid's down for a really long time. This is a lot of flexibility. They can also plug this in to a generator and make up the slack for the grid and that gives this time to actually fill back up. So there's, there's just so many different things, um, so many different applications for this particular unit. And just one last note on this install, we've got their grounding. All this is common bonded into electrical code. Then we've got grounding to the inverter. And then we've got grounding from the plate over to our grounding rod for the structure. So everything is uh, grounded in place at this point and safe. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this install. Make sure to check out the new OTG boards that's built by off-grid contract and sold exclusively through Hurricane Wind Power. And until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.